But anyway, we need to move on. We got to move on. We need to talk about um, Keg the Cocker. We need to talk about played by John yes. Majors. Um, okay. So, I already said before, I'm, I'm a big fan of Jonathan Majors as an actor. I think he's great. Um, and I'm glad that he's getting more big projects. Um, when he was first cast as Kang, I thought he was, I thought, perfect. Great casting. Um, and w- the little we saw from him in Loki as a uh, He Who Remains, I just said, was, uh, was interesting. But I was really interested to see how he would be as the prime Kang. The, well, not the prime Kang, because like, we, we already know this other Kangs that are like that. But like the main Kang that we know, like to see him menacing and stuff like that, I was very interested to see how he would do. Performance-wise, I thought he was excellent. One of the best parts of the movie, him and Paul Rudd. Like, he he definitely was menacing. I really liked his version of Kang when he... he, he, he not only was he menacing, but, like, you kind of, like, he, he also had some, like, quiet, intimate moments, like, especially when they're doing the backstory with, um, with Janet, you know, like, there were a couple of moments where it's like, you almost felt for Kang a little bit, you know, because he he was good on playing a facade, but like he he knew when to channel the the intimidating, scary factor, but he also knew when to be calm and like reserved. So I really liked his I really liked the performance of that, and his, the his actual the suit Lily, Lily straight out of the comics. They gave him the the green purple outfit. They made his face blue. They gave him the helmet. It looked awesome. Um, and his action set beats like this, when he was just annihilating people with his rays. And there was that one scene where the guy with the 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 guy with yeah that guy with the with the with the ray for a for a head tried to shoot a ray at Kang, and then he literally channeled the energy back at him and it annihilated him. I was like, oh, that's freaking awesome! Oh my that goodness, is bang I... on. That's it... sweet. If oh my god, if he I can see him do do the exact same move if he ever comes across Captain Marvel, if he tried to shoot that ray and he's like, what is that you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> that's like the way he did that move, that's awesome. The Avatar the last airbender type shit. Like, yeah, that is, it is. I don't I definitely got some vibes there. And like even like when he was in when he was um intimidating Scott in the in the uh, in the jail cell. And using his telekinesis, stuff like that, throwing Modok around, and also torturing Cassie in front of, in front of Scott, being like, "If you don't do as I say, I am going to make you watch me. I'm going. You're going to watch me kill your daughter numerous times until you beg to die." I'm like, "Oh my god, this guy is hardcore. I absolutely loved it. He was completely misplaced in this movie, though." <laughs> main I, main I, problem. I, I am I am a bit mixed with him being I am like I love I love this dude like Jonathan Majors he is he is dynamite in the movie and just him and like his presence is freaking amazing. I do agree it is a little weird to him being in an Ant Man movie, not a Doctor Strange movie if we're talking about the multiverse and stuff. I guess I guess that's to Marvel's eyes. It's that's too early to put them in them in the mult regarding the multiverse kind of. I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's too. You didn't need to put them in this movie. Like you, you have like one and a half phases of films and shows where you could put him in here, and I know they're establishing there are many different versions of Kang, so he'll show up wherever he wants, but really sitting down and thinking about their strategy with that, I don't know if that's going to work very well. Because if Kang keeps showing up in different movies and shows with different iterations, and he keeps getting defeated over and over again, how is he going to look by the time we get the Kang Dynasty? Because you got defeated, your other versions got defeated by other people. And the first off the gate, starting phase five, the first Kang that we see, if we if you don't count Loki, the first Kang you see gets beat 
by Ant Man. <laughs> yeah. And a that's... swarm in a swarm of ants. In a swarm of ants. He got bodied by a swarm of ants in this movie. And I okay, see. how how like it kind of it kind of devalues well it I'm sorry, diminishes how intimidating and badass um his performance is in this movie because they have to dumb him down to Ant-Man's level to make it seem like Ant-Man even poses a threat to him. And Which now I am... I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. No, you finish. Yeah, it's like they're they're diminishing his character a bit because as I said, they have to dumb him down to make it seem like Ant-Man could actually pose a threat to him. But in turn, you are building him up to be the main antagonist of the of this phase of possibly this entire multiverse saga and we're going to see him numerous times apparently that's what they're setting up they're setting up that we're going to see numerous versions of this character face other avengers and yes they he tells us in the movie that he's killed other avengers oh he, he's done this he's done that but we didn't we've never seen it we have not seen it don't question what happens off screen but if that really like you should show me this don't Tell me this. You getting defeated by Ant-Man, I just shouldn't, like, I shouldn't take him very seriously. At least this version of Kang. And then, what's Loki's version of Kang going to be? Where else is he going to show up? What, the Marvels? Is he going to show up there? Is he going to show up with the Fantastic Four? What kind of Kangs are we going to get there? What kind of Kang are we going to face in Kang Dynasty, I'm saying Kang so many times, but like, <laughs> what what Kang are we gonna get in Kang Dynasty? Is he gonna be any different than the other Kangs that we're gonna get? So it's like so many Kangs. It's too many Kangs. Too many. Too many Kangs. kangs. Like I, uh, just, I don't understand their strategy here. If I, they I, wanted I, to introduce Kang, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. Then I'll let you go. Like, okay, okay. if they wanted to introduce Kang. Um, prop like the the full on Kang, not not the 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 one who remains. If they wanted to have an, an actual Kang be introduced in a big movie, why? Okay, I've already mentioned this before in other streams. I probably said this on George's stream. Why didn't they just have Kang be be introduced in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Yeah. Now I know there's already going to be people out there being like, but but that but that came out before Loki. And- ended so that would kind of diminish the, the the beginnings of of him being established in loki okay then why don't you just have why don't you just switch dates around why don't you have because when did multiverse of madness come out uh last may 2022 yeah last may may 2022 when did the last episode of loki air before june no wait yeah you know, june tw- oh, june 2021 yeah June 2021. And when did Thor Love and Thunder come out? July 2022. Okay. Easy. Switch the dates. Thor Love and Thunder comes out in May and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness comes out in July. There you go. Very simple. And they both were done. They're both the both of the movies were done. So it's like they could have switched dates there and then you would still have He Who Remains be established before they even introduce um, him in Multiverse of Madness. And it's like um, also, they would have had a proper antagonist in Multiverse of Madness because I know people were complaining that um, Wanda, it felt forced that they just ter- made her evil straight from the get-go. There could have been some really interesting character stuff with Kang being like trying to manipulate Wanda into doing what what he wants her to do to help her, whatever, get create re refix his multiverse machine, whatever. And he needs America Chavez to do that because her power, she can punch portals into other dimensions. So maybe Kang could be after America to help her power, help her help him power his machine to help him transform back to different multiverses and in turn manipulate Wanda into helping of helping of get America Chavez. And then in turn, Kang could help her, like kind of trick her into believing that, oh, 
I can help you go to a different multiverse where you can actually see your kids, where your kids actually exist. I can help you with that if you help me. Blah, 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 blah. And then that can help with Wanda eventually slowly start to turn evil into the movie organically instead of it just being like an automatic thing in the beginning of the movie. And there also could be some tension between Kang and Doctor Strange being like, if you help me, I can figure out a way to help you get back with Christine or stuff like that. Get personal with that as well. So they could have done that with Kang as well. They didn't have to shoot him in an Ant-Man movie. They could have done it in Multiverse of Madness and they still could have had the, the, the build up that they could they, they're they're doing with um with Kang in phase five. There's no reason for them to do what they did here. But anyway, okay, I'm done. Go ahead. Where go were on. you in the development process of Marvel? <laughs> they should call me up, man. They should call me no, you're good. You're good. So, um, uh, what was I about to say? I kind of no, I know you're good. It's just, um, I think, like, but the different. I think okay. What I was thinking when um going back to Kang being destroyed by, I was thinking like, well, maybe Kang might be a a bit weaker than he was before. Maybe in later moves he might get powerful again. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm just that... I'm kind of spitballing a little bit. Like, he, yeah, maybe he, maybe he, maybe he was a little weaker before he got ex exiled to the quantum realm, and maybe later on, once we get to like Kang Dynasty and see the uh, see the Kang the Conqueror and the other Kangs Conqueror might be more powerful, and we get Kang Dynasty, and there you go. That, Possibly, oh. maybe, maybe that's what he got. He just got <laughs> mauled by some ants. Uh, oh, you just brought up another plot hole that I wanted to bring up. But like oh. to, to to address your to address your statement, though, you could be right. By the time we get the Kang Dynasty, we'll actually maybe we'll get the the Prime Kang, who's the most powerful of them all. And all these other Kangs that we saw in the other films and shows, they were just pussies compared to the Prime <laughs> Kang. This is the main boss Kang that they need to face. This is the, pro the, the what I don't know who that it is, but maybe that's the case. Weaklings, <laughs> weak, see, like, yeah, weak little kings, like they're just they're just uh, warm ups, <laughs> you know. See, like what I'm worried about happening for Avengers King Dynasty is like you know they're introducing all these like variants of Kang. It's like, are these variants gonna face like different like heroes in Kang Dynasty? Is it gonna be like we're gonna split these heroes into different groups and they're taking on different versions of Kang, not knowing? There's an all-powerful king, like... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if all these different Avengers are fight, eventually fight different kings, won't they all meet up and talk about, hey, I just I just faced this guy named Kang. It's like, oh, that's funny. I also faced a guy named Kang. Would that, sh would that come up at all? Or are they just going to coincidentally just talk about it in Kang Dynasty? And then that's when the Prime King's going to come. And then they'll be already be too late. Uh, they, that I, hmm, I'm, maybe they might talk. Maybe they might talk about it like within the movies, but I don't know. But which movie? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Oh, do you guys remember the the rings were like a like a beacon that they established at the end of the one of the end credits scenes in Shang Chi. Oh. Do you yeah. think that has anything to do with Kang? Possibly. That's a good theory. I forgot about that. Hmm. I did see some rings that look very similar to that, so that's probably why I'm thinking about that. But it could be something completely different. But I'm like, is that is that something that they're, they're using a beacon so the other Kangs could find a way to get to sick Earth 616 or something like that? Uh, whatever their plan is, I don't know. I can see that because that and crediting the Shang Chi was related to Doctor Strange. And then Doctor Strange was dealing with the multiverse, and then there was Kang, the Conqueror, and Ant Man. I see. I, I mean, I, I can totally, I can totally see that being the case. I can totally see that, or or that might be just an credit that's just nothing. Just nothing. It means nothing. I mean, like uh, I know we we should never really trust like rumors and scoop and scoopers, but apparently like the rumor is is like Shang Chi two like which they want to get out before either King Dynasty or Secret War might tie into like time travel or like time. So like maybe that that'll be another connection to like Kang. 
Uh, <laughs> like who, who who knows at this point? It's like the, the thing is is like I, I'm like curious. Like outside of like Loki season two, what else is Kang gonna appear in before Kang Dynasty? Could it be like Shang Chi two? Could it be like Fantastic Four where the Fantastic Four face a variant of, of Kang? Honestly, like, please don't let that be the case. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it would either be my my guess. It would either be the Marvels, Fantastic Four. Um, there was a third one. Um, uh, shoot. Uh, well, there's Loki season two. Well, uh, yeah, already, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, well, he's already in it. Yeah. Um, there was a third one I just thought of. Um, I mean, I don't want it to be Shang Chi, but that's a that's a possibility. Unfortunately. Well, why did they just announce a Shang Chi during? during oh, Doctor Strange. Strange. Doctor Strange three. Oh yeah, Doctor Strange three. Well, yeah. they, they, they would have had that announced by that point if 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 they were if they were trying to get make this whole Kang thing make more sense, or they could have just take their time with their announcements and just say, hey, let's just try to build this out and just say, off the spot. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you never know. I mean, because we don't really know, like, what the what, what the what the real actual plot of Doctor Strange 3 is, other than Clea and Strange are going to fix some incursions. So, one of those incursions maybe King will be in it. I don't know. But, um... I, I just hope... hope... I just hope it's not Deadpool 3 because, like... <laughs> Oh God, that's another one too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> because like all the signs are pointing to Deadpool three being a multiverse movie. Well, you know, you you have Hugh Jackman coming in, and I don't even I don't even know how that's. I mean, I'm I'm still I'm still excited. Just I'm hoping that's just at least its own thing. Like it doesn't. I mean, you can you can have you can make your jokes about you know, hey, I'm in the MCU and all that stuff. I, I'm being dirty or whatever. I'm, I'm just cursing, saying f bombs and all that stuff. You know, I, you know, I don't want to have Kang in the movie. Just to me, you know, to build up. But I want like a Deadpool movie. I yeah. want I want all the blood, I want the violence, all the cussing, all the four wall jokes. Hugh Jackman's in it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you don't need Kang in that. To be honest. And that was one of the things I was I talked about earlier. That's my concerns about the MCU now. That like all these movies don't even feel like their own films anymore. They feel like they are Easter eggs or setups to other projects. Everything has to be so interconnected. Like if you miss one thing, you may not understand something that happens in the future. So like they, we're just so deep into it, like we can't really miss anything, which is frustrating. 